and then end the level. Yeah. 23 minutes. Yeah, it's a longer game than the first one, for sure. But it's the only way to let get all the secrets. Yeah. Okay. Now we do... One of my least favourite levels of the game. Oh, this is going to be fucking wonderful. Yeah, this is not This is not one of my favourite ones. No, there's this massive shortcut you can take and beat the level in two minutes. Well, no, not two minutes, sorry, about seven minutes. I was going to say, two minutes? That'd be impossible. Nothing is possible for a possible this anything possible this. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Every time people say that, I'm just like, anything's possible for a possible. Alright, now that swinging crate is going to take health away. So, I don't even know how it's swinging. I think it's the air in the outside that's blowing it or something. Anyway, there's that platform there, you see there? Right, now, it's close, so I'm going to jump there, because there's going to be an enemy down there. And I can shoot at him while I'm not taking any damage. Oh! Right, pistols. Yeah, just shoot the ball. And just do that. So you, you keep doing this. I look really awkward. It's like you're playing whack-a-mole. peek a boo <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Do that, and then you should be fine. There you go. And now we took him out, and yeah. Get get the stuff off him. Yeah. Pull that pistol rounds. Uh -huh. And we got, how many we got now? We got 480. So. Oh, damn. Yeah. Okay, so now we get past the, uh, once we get past this level, then we're going to be the offshore rig. Oh, yes. And that's where more cinematics play. Yeah. Remember that? Well, I remember level seven, the forty phantoms. In that level, you had like a shark coming after you. I was oh, like, fuck. I was like, swim away. As a kid, that used to terrify me. I used to be like, swim away, swim away. Jesus. Fuck. As a kid, I used to be like, like scared of getting encountering that shark because <laughs> it would actually, when you're low on health, it actually grabs Lara's you know chest and actually rips her to shreds. Yeah. So there you go. It lowers that so you can grab the key. So my friends used to use level skip codes to bypass the levels. So. I mean, we could show that off once we're like finished with the game. Yeah, we can show the cheat codes. Yeah, there's even one we can make Lara explode, <laughs> which is funny. I'm guessing they did that as a response uh, to people like using the codes to get everything. They they changed it up so it blows you up instead. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, same thing here actually. Don't mind me, folks. Ah, just give it a bit of a stretch. Wait for the crate to go back, and then we go. Not the <laughs> This game is. Oh boy. Actually, I'm gonna use the shotgun while I'm at it. Because there's gonna yeah, be two enemies down there. I was gonna say, use the shotgun on the box. Yeah. I wish I could damage that box, but I can't, unfortunately. It takes two shotgun shells, so. Uh, that's good. Yeah. Actually, in the Japanese version of this game, it's easier because it only takes one shotgun shell. Wait, what the fuck? Why is the Japanese version easier? Yeah, because I learned the Japanese version of this game, it's easier than our version. Which is weird, because you think with Japanese games, they make them harder. No, it's easier. I don't know why, but it is. Okay. <laughs> There's bodies through that. <laughs> oh, that's nothing. It's, it's alright. Because they're cold members, they have access to weird powers. You just phase through stuff like it was Kitty Pride or something. Yeah, that's so, it. Uh, jump across, jump. Okay, now we can go down to that broken glass down there. Why? Because that's where we need to go next, obviously. Lewis, you're making no sense. <laughs> so, you said you didn't like this level much. Tell us why. It's way too long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that just the music? Hey, too many. It's just a bit slow paced at times. It feels very slow at times. You have to go slow through there, or else you will take damage. Yeah. It's not the worst level in the game, though. That goes to the deck! <laughs> <laughs> so it's not the least favourite level. That no. level the deck. I mean, the floating islands in this level are a bit annoying, but no, I think the worst level is probably the deck. Because, oh, God, it took me forever to be as a kid. <laughs> 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 I really needed a strategy guide in that one. Yeah, because it was almost impossible to figure out where you're going. Yeah. The game's not possible to complete, but it is really hard. It's like Tomb Raider 3 when you choose where you can go to next. I personally thought that was a cool idea, being able to choose where you want to go next. 
Like, if you wanted to go to Nevada first, or if you wanted to go to South Pacific first. The only downside to it was that if you go to Nevada last, you lose your, uh, all your stuff. But, the game is still, it isn't impossible to complete if you choose Nevada last. Yeah, which, which, which is really a bit odd. Like, yeah. you think they would have, like, let you have all your weapons back at the end of Nevada level. Yeah. Though, frankly, you find the best weapons in the game before you end the game if you decide to take that route. But that's the only two way a game where you can actually choose what you want to do. <laughs> and that guy also fakes through the floor again. But at least we got his med kit off him. Yeah. I like how it has some of the same music, like this music playing in the background is actually in 2 minute 1. <laughs> that music track I listen to. God, there's so many enemies. I know. Die. Die. Take out the guys with the gun. Then, then. Die, monster. You, you don't belong in this, in this world. world. Yeah. Classic game. Seriously, people, go play Symphony of the Night. It's fucking great. Yeah. Super Castlevania 4 is my favourite, but Castlevania Symphony of the Night is definitely up there as one of my favourites. Super Castlevania 4 was fantastic. I haven't actually played that one. Yeah, it's great. I actually own it on my uh, Super Mini Super Nintendo. Because the Mini Super Nintendo mm -hmm. does actually include that game. That's nice. If you've got two items near together, you can pick them both up at the same time. Oh, that's cool. So it's not just one item. So, no, it's not going to be like one of those other games where it's like you got to pick everything up one by one. Yeah. Okay, save here, because there's the shortcut I'm going to take, because actually I'm going to show you how to beat the level mega quick, but then I'm going to do the level properly. Mm. You can actually beat this level in like two minutes after you've done this. There's a massive shortcut you can take. Watch this, folks. Because there's spike bits there, so you have to make sure you hold down the uh, grab button mm -hmm. just a second after the ledge, otherwise you're just going to hit those spikes and instantly die. It's funny how she walks through them, but yeah, she doesn't take I guess when you're walking slowly, she understands not like touch the yeah. spikes. Funny thing is, though, when she is walking slowly, she's walking right on top of them. But... Well, we had to find some way to get through this. If you run, you'll just die. If you run, it will drain your health, but if you walk, you're fine. But she's just walking through them. To me, they're like papers, like paper corners. <laughs> Well, it could just be like a bunch of shredded glass just hanging up. Yeah. I actually made me jump as a kid when uh, she jumped into the... <laughs> you just fucking died instantly. Yeah. Okay, here's a shortcut I'm going to show you. It's quite hard to pull off by a minute, Oh, because you got to reach that ledge on the other side. Yeah, that's it. And... There you go. He did it! There you go. Now I'm nearly finishing off the level now. <laughs> and that bag's supposed to move, but since I took the shortcut, it's not moving. And now it is. Yeah. Just gotta wait for the right timing. <laughs> Okay, the door's open, now we can finish the level. Through there. <laughs> Fucking dog! Go away! I don't want to play fetch. There you go, we can play the level. That's how you test the shot. Right now, let's actually complete this level. I think you can jump back up there, hold on. You just have to be really careful. Nah, you can't. Uh -oh. I'm gonna have to go this way. Yeah, because if you fuck up the jump and then come back down, you just die instantly. Yeah, that's it. Oh, door opened! Very more guys to fight. And the bring more dogs. Up more of the small health kits. You don't get many big ones. I 
can ace down to. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, these guys didn't carry items. Thought that guy did. Yeah. Just got a small money pack. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Found a small money pack. <laughs> awesome. Right into a corner. Yeah, I know. Is we want to <laughs> back our way down. Jump down here because we need to go inside the opera house. The back stage. We need to go to the back. But at the same time, deal with more gold. You can run on water. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, it was just running on water there. No, that, that doesn't work as well. No, it doesn't. Uh, Minecraft has this song called Don't Fly at Night, I believe it's called. I heard it recently and it sounds a lot like that last Friday night song. It's got the same oh, really? beat and tune to it. It just sounds very similar to that. Okay. It's got a very, it's got a very similar beat to it. Oh, you just messed up the jump. Yay, I'm an idiot. Hey, at least there's no shark in there to kill you. Yeah, that would make sense <laughs> if there was. Too bad you're getting sniped to death. He's up there. Searching where want to heal. Coward! Oh god! More rocks! He's just up there. How that he is. Come on. Lean over the edge. <laughs> he's thinking, what is she doing jumping up and down with her pistols? No, he's, he's probably thinking, maybe if I run around in a circle up here. I'll piss Laura, her off. <laughs> Lara won't be able to shoot me from here. And I'll piss her off more by doing so. <laughs> he's up there, so. But how are we going to get up there? Time for a save. Yeah, do use the backup save. Because when she gets up, that's annoying. Because when she gets up, she takes a wall and then you can just keep shooting at her. Yeah, she's kind of defenseless during that. Yeah, doing that animation. Okay. <laughs> just jump into the ceiling. Okay, what do I get? All my pistol rounds. Yay. Okay, we want to. Jump down here. Yeah. We want to go down to the backstage now. Backstage, so we're going to jump from here. Actually, we're going to run in, jump here. Not very old dogs. I know. Where'd that guy come from? He wasn't there before. I know. The game's good at making me jump. Especially when you look up at the top level, you're like, shit, I'm losing health. Yeah, exactly. There's going to be multiple enemies here, so I'm just going to keep jumping back and shooting them. Oh my fucking god. Just watch this, like, one guy pops up behind you. I like that, he's just about to swing his club and he just died. <laughs> Too late. Mm -hmm. Too late, assholes. I'll beat you to it. Mm -hmm. Switch that, and that opens the gate up there. Yep, now we can go climb up to the top of the stage. You know, try not to die. Oh yeah, I promise. I can't make any promises there. <laughs> Besides, you're already kind of fucked up the promise by killing yourself earlier in the first level. Yep, now here, if you run and jump to the side there, that bad's going to fall on you and die. Yeah, so, so what do you do? do you jump more to the left. I would have laughed if you like did that and got yourself killed anyway. Yeah. I would have completely contradicted myself there. Yay, logic! I have none. I do like this music that plays. Yeah, it's very ominous. Yeah. I'd admit, Nathan McCready did good music on the old games. 
Yeah, I kind of wish he like came back for like the sequels. Yeah, he did the first three games, but when four came out, a guy called Peter took over. Which is why he has various different choices. Like the first three games had that sound effect, whereas four they kind of changed it a bit. Oh, really? Yeah. Why change that? That was an epic sound effect. I know. I mean, it still sounds the same, but it sounds like it just sounds a bit different to what it does in the first frame. <laughs> that sound should never be changed. <laughs> yeah, that when she finds a secret. Because it's awesome when you find something. Yeah, I don't know. I've always liked that sound effect. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I hate my life sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's see how far I was. I think I saved here. Okay. I hate myself. <laughs> I HATE MY LIFE! <laughs> okay. It's only a few minutes, I can do a few minutes. <laughs> hey, at least you have to fight all those guys again. At least I know where the dog is. Go for the grenade launcher, just murder them. MURDER THEM ALL! <laughs> Kill them all! Grab the user clips. Uh -huh. Well, getting shot at. Yeah, I'm gonna use the users actually. Hold on, where's the enemy? Yes. And he's dead. Yeah. You didn't. You didn't kill the other guy on the top, though. I'll deal with him later. Come on. There you go. All done. He kills him much quicker. So. Uh -huh. That was funny. <laughs> when I died. <laughs> just Troll and error. Troll and error. Just kill a rat and then jump off and kill yourself. Oh, you need to open the door first. Yeah, I need to do the switch. Yeah. I thought, no, did I screw this up? <laughs> no, I screwed it up. I would love if you actually did press the switch, then reloaded, but you couldn't press the switch again. Yeah, that would have been funny as fuck. Can I see? Yeah, I can see. <laughs> can you do it? Yes, Woo! I can do it. Careful. Oh, yeah. Got hit by the bag again. Suicidal. Yeah, I am very suicidal. I actually still died like this in Tomb Raider 1 as well. Maybe. <laughs> oh, pressing the switch again. Yeah. The lovely music plays in the background again. <laughs> the music button. Yeah. That's what it should be called. Actually, that's what I call the ladder tune because every time you mostly climb ladders, a lot of the time you're gonna hear that song. Every time you climb a ladder. Yeah. I call it a ladder tune. Imagine someone like edited that and just had like echoes of Snake <laughs> playing in the background. Yeah, it'd be quite funny. Now, don't jump off the edge after you kill the rat this time. Yeah, I'm gonna save here actually this time. I would have laughed so hard if you did that again. That's a good thing I saved though. It saves me under doing all that again. It wouldn't matter because it would only take me a few seconds to redo it again. Okay. Oh. And then, uh, before we go. Now it's time for some swimming. Well, as soon as the camera can cooperate. Yep. Here we're gonna find some. Because <laughs> I thought it was meant that. <laughs> Maybe it was on the PlayStation version. Maybe. Actually, the PlayStation got this thing wrong where in Venice, if you pick up the secret dragon, for some reason, um, it shows shotgun shells, even though it's supposed to be automatic pistol rounds, so the PC version is telling you the truth, but the PlayStation version is lying to you. <laughs> See, now that's another reason why I like the PC version. It doesn't fucking lie! I know, let you save anywhere. So does, Tomb Raider, so does the PlayStation version of Tomb Raider 2 does. It lets you save anywhere as well. Damn, I thought that was going to be an advantage. Actually, the, for some reason, the water looks a bit more greenish in the PlayStation version, yet it looks more blue, which makes sense for the PC oh, it, It's still got that slight green tinge to it. Yeah. I can't understand the, the sides there because of how rotten it's been over time, so... 
Though for the time, these graphics were, believe it or not, mind blowing when they first came out. And what's this we're picking up? Uh -huh. Part to do with the um, elevator. You need that for the elevator. It's to put it back together so you can use it. So we can get to the top and finish the level. No, there's still more to it. It's a quite a long level. Oh god. <laughs> I can see why the shortcut was easier. Yeah, I prefer the shortcut. Sal. Oh, we should have killed that guy. Oh, the guy was already dead there. No, the, the, there was a guy on your right. What's that? Hold on. <laughs> he, he's looking over the balcony. You'll see him in a sec. Yeah, okay. Just quiet. <laughs> so, when we reloaded the save, we completely forgot to kill this guy. Just wait for him to keep running back down there. Running around a pole is not going to do anything. What is he doing? What, does he think he's a strip dancer? Yeah, he probably is. Come on, get him. Get. You're wasting my ammo, come on! <laughs> so all patience. Maybe we should just leave him alone. He's clearly, he's clearly got some brain issues. Yeah, he's an idiot. <laughs> yeah, let him dance around like an idiot. Okay, let him run around like the idiot that he is. Okay. Right. Okay. Go on here. There's gonna be two dogs here, so. And they're dead. Yep, yeah, they're dead. And that's okay. Oh look, there's the piece we need. That's where we use it. And actually, up the top of this ladder is where the. Uh... Do I have it? Yeah. That secret I picked up earlier to take that shortcut, that's where it leads you to that ladder. Oh, okay then. Okay, so we don't even need to go up that ladder. Because we've already got the secret. <laughs> jump on the ceiling. Might as well use these. Because we've got a load of ammo. Kills yeah, it's quite useful to use the other weapons. Uh -huh. And shotgun shells. Okay. Uh -huh. I remember the cheat code was easier. As a kid, I used to put the cheat code in and just go around killing them all easily. Yeah. More easily. Okay. So what we need to do is wait for that uh, elevator to go back up. And then take the ladder. And then go in this water to grab another item that we need. Probably the dragon. Not, not the dragon, no, the, uh, what was it? It's, uh, oh. the circuit board. And we use that to remove the back of the stage, uh -huh. so you go to the back, and then you can finish the level that way, but I already finished the level by taking that shortcut, so you skip pretty much all of this by doing that shortcut. Wow, that was pretty, pretty short. Yeah. So we're nearly done, folks. <laughs> nearly yeah. through this hellish level. Yeah. Actually, I'd say we're about halfway through at the moment. <laughs> it goes on quite a while, actually, especially if it's your first time playing it. I remember as a kid I used to be like, yeah, okay, can we finish please? <laughs> nope, still going. Tomb Raider 4, oh, Tomb Raider, sorry, Tomb Raider 1, the first level on that was like, what, 10 minutes? <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah. <laughs> I like how that a rat's floating in the midair. <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> Turn around again. There's an end there. You jump up, get shot, and fall back into the water. <laughs> oh yes, I am lovely with easy controls. Okay. You'll get used to it. Takes time. Takes practice and time. Hold on. Is he gonna come? Is he gonna come to me? Oh, I tell you, I've seen these YouTube poops of Harry Potter. They're funny. <laughs> Like, <laughs> it makes certain scenes out of context seem funnier. Like that. Uh. Oh man, I'm terrible at this game. On PC. Yeah, you're better on PlayStation. Yeah, because I'm more used to the controller, so. But you say you'd like the PC version better. Yeah, just because I like the PC version better doesn't mean I'm better at it. Okay, hold on. 
take you out. Oh, you. oh the dog! <laughs> and you're dead. Oh, great. Got to save! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, goodness me, I, I, uh... Okay. I'll have to do this again. Yep. I'll have to do this again. Okay. I'll just speed through this really quick. Go fast. Ultra fast. And then die again. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry folks, like when this goes on YouTube I'll probably just speed this section up. So never ever use a flare if you're, if you're doing all these running jumps. Always throw it away. Because you can end up killing yourself in the process. I've seen badass games do it before and he laughed so hard. I laughed so hard. Like he ran and jumped and grabbed a ledge, he threw the flare and just died and lost progress. <laughs> and that's why you gotta save. Yeah. He even did like a no med packs run and no load, so he's not allowed to save as well. Oh fuck. So if he dies, he, that's, that's it for him. That's the start from level one again. Yeah. Here we are killing the same apples. Yeah. <laughs> Making sure to re grab everything. Yeah. Actually, what I should have done is like have this thing where mm -hmm. if I play the game and I know where to save, it's easier. So, like, for example, I come up to a point, and I'm like, yep, save here. Come up to this point, yep, save here. Yeah, probably should have saved. Yeah. Well, it was my fault. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. I think the best, for me, I, I always get a laugh out of the Demon Souls and Dark Souls playthrough of PSP. Uh -huh. Yeah. I always get a laugh out of them. This is pretty funny. Yeah, especially how in uh, Demon Souls, like he just keeps running into the enemy and not even try to attack it. Like, wouldn't it just make sense to attack it? Yeah. There's that. That's that funny exploit I found in Demon Souls, where you can like level up your character so quickly <laughs> without having to actually grind properly, which is kind of kind of interesting. Right, so save here this time. Yes, make sure to save this time, Lewis. Yes, I just did. So chill. <laughs> and now we climb back up only to get killed by everyone again. <laughs> of course. But do we this time? I love that I love that face that she makes when you fire the gun. Yeah. I'm gonna kill you. Can't even see him. I think mean, I think he's fucked off. Yeah, that's great. That's what we want. <laughs> A shotgun blast didn't do anything against the mice. It's okay. Just a quick reload will save us. Never thought I'd see the day Lara struggles to take down a mice with a shotgun. <laughs> well, it's probably Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. M I C K E Y. M O U S E. I remember that from uh, Full Metal Jacket. Oh yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. Now here's the, this is actually a pretty cool part actually, I didn't mind this part of the level, this is one of the few highlights of the level. Um, basically there are killing fans down here that can slice Lara up basically. Oh shit. Yeah, so you have to jump on that one. There's the key, where's the last dragon? Is it here? Yeah it is actually. Down the corridor on your left. Yep. 
No, there's, there's a rat you gotta fight. You can't stomp on it, it's not a Mario game. I wish I could actually, it'd be funny if you could. Like, you step on it and it kills it. <laughs> Super Lara Croft. Fuck. Yeah, you go down there, you die. So what you do is you stand on that ledge and just do a normal jump. Here, it's very awkward. Don't try to run and grab that because you'll get sliced up. So what you do is you stand here and you uh, do a backflip. Walk up to the edge, backflip. Fucking hell. And there's the last one. Now here's a blade there, as you can see. So what do you do? You walk up to it very, very slowly. So just stand right on top of it. So just take one step each time. Grab it, and then back away. You get loads of Yuzi clips for it. Jesus Christ! All that effort for one dragon. Yep. Now be careful here. Ooh, feels really rewarding. Perhaps. At least you get something out of it. Yeah, it does feel quite rewarding. <laughs> Unlike, say, some of the later ones, it's just you hold down shoot and you win most of the time. Yeah, we need we need this like mix of puzzles and shooting. You can't just have all shooting or all puzzles. This game had a lot more gun action, but there was a lot of puzzles to it as well. I think Legend had a lot more guns to action than this one did actually. So the anniversary. Yeah. I even thought like the motorbike section is kind of fun in Legend, but not as fun as like driving the snowmobile or the uh, bike because there was more to it than just shooting down bad guys off their bikes. There was like certain platforming elements and stuff to it. Plus in Underworld, when you get to the fucking bike sessions, you can actually die while riding on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we doing here? We well, gotta push this block and just climb out and then change the circuit boards and then we're free. Oh, fine. We're almost free of this level, folks. Yep. We're almost out of here. We are almost out of here. Out of this damn level. I just find it funny every time she pushes that. The first one, she sounds like. It sounds. The grrr, it sounds like. Um, like it sounds like something you hear. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say this, but when Lara pulls herself up in Tomb Raider 3, it sounds like she's having an orgasm. Ah. Uh. She, she does that here too. Yeah, I know. She does it. Oh, and you get whacked across the head. Yeah, I think my favourite Lara voice was probably from Tomb Raider 4, 5, and 6. Really? You think Lara didn't do, you think the actor didn't do a good job here? Well, she did, I think she's good here, actually, in Tomb Raider 2 and 3. Tomb Raider 1, it was, her voice was a bit weird in Tomb Raider 1, actually. Really. But it's nothing on Legend. Especially when she gets melodramatic and shooting a gun at someone. Yeah. Some fans were complaining about that, actually. And saying Lara was a lot more thick skin in the old games. Whereas in the in like the rebooted games by Crystal, it's like they decided to make her more of a... Human sort of thing. Yeah. Whereas here she was more like thick skin. A, a hardened adventurer. Things. She could just take things. Uh, I would say she was more like a hardened adventurer. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I have to admit, Rise of the Tomb Raider was a lot of fun. That game was fun to play. And uh, plus, I'm a big fan of snow levels, so there's that too. <laughs> That's probably why you like Metal Gear Solid so much. Yeah. So many snow levels. Yeah, boy. But yeah, there we go. That's the official end of the level. Mm -hmm. Let me guess, you're gonna fucking say, no, it isn't. We still got 35% of the game to go. Yeah, we do indeed. Actually, do I have all the dragons? Yeah, I do, don't I? Yeah, I do. Yeah, you're gone. Okay, cool. I'm going to take that shortcut again because I actually fucked something up. Because since I came down here and didn't open up that gate earlier, it kind of screwed me over, but I can take the shortcut and finish the level. Alright, though. Well. Yeah, because I can take the shortcut, finish the level, and be alright. Well, because all you have to do, really, is when you hit the switch, it changes that. You just go around the back, climb up there, and then you're done. So there's not really much we're missing, so... Yeah, so don't worry, folks. We're not, we're not intentionally skipping the last section of the game. Yeah, that's it. I will with the deck because I hate that level. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. I hate that level. If you play it normally, it is frustrating as hell. As hell. 
A shell. A shell. A shell. A shell. Right, so we're going to climb back up and do the secret. See if you can get back up there. Lara, climb. Thank you, my lovely gal. She's a fictional character. What the fuck are you saying? I know. Personally, I did like the first Tomb Raider game, and I liked the remake, and the 2013 game. Yeah, it didn't feel like a Tomb Raider game, but it was a great game in itself, so... It's a great game in itself, as a Tomb Raider game, and I still prefer the classics to it. Especially, like, the old ones. Like, there was a lot more emphasis on, like, really looking around your environments, whereas the newer games, it's more like, it holds your hand a lot more. Now then... Because a lot of the old games, you really had to do things on your own, so... Huh. Yeah, because Tomb Raider is not supposed to be an easy game, so... Here we are, making the... <laughs> trying to make the jump. There we go. There we go! So yeah, you're not missing that much in the last quarter. Yeah, but that is, that is a really cool shortcut. But since I did the whole level, the bag's now moving. So that's a problem. Yeah, whereas since I took the shortcut before, it didn't move at all. Yeah. You already saved. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just being super cautious. I'm like that. I always jump as soon as the bag's about to go in your direction and you're trying to jump to. Because you do that, it's easier. So that's when you know when to jump as soon as the bag goes in the direction you're about to jump at. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's a switch behind you. Well, there's a bunch of enemies down here, so... Yeah, you didn't bother to kill them the last time. Okay, hold on. How much how have I got here? Oh, you got two. I'll use a med pack now. Save here. I might as well hit the switch first since I'm here. There you go, open the door. Right, shotgun. Holy fuck! That guy's got two revolvers! No. They call me Revolver. And I died. Yay! Okay, okay you... I'm gonna use the grenade launcher. Fuck it. Yeah, he died to Ocelot. Good job. Well, uh, yeah. He is pretty good, after all. You're pretty good. Yeah. I have the high ground. You underestimate my power! No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and you're dead. I just love that, like, over the top reaction, you're just like, no, you aren't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. Now, save. It was an insane game, innit? It's not easy, is it? No. Nope. Oh god, another dog! I swear, we don't have a thing against dogs. No, we're just doing it for survival. We're doing it to survive! Survive! Have you suddenly forgotten which way to go? No, I haven't. I'm just trying to find that douchebag so I can get, get an item. Um, I think he's already dead. I don't think he is. There he is. Oh, there he is. There he is. He was just hidden. Oh, you sick little bastard. Okay. I keep doing that. I keep jumping forward. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to do that on more platforming sections. Like, kill somebody. Jump off and kill yourself. Yeah. Okay, grenades. Mm. Six grenades for that. Hey, at least you get back all the grenades you lost. Yes, I have. How much ammunition I got? 19 shotgun shells. 560 automatic pistol rounds, 591 Yeezy clips, and I have 11 grenade shots. Yes, that's just one more than what I had before. Woo! Okay, and oh. I, I pressed the switch. Oh boy. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. No, it's not that far. It probably like closed, like you gotta be there it's quick. It's a time sort of thing, yeah. Or maybe, maybe it's because you jumped on the floor and it closed as a result. Yeah. I'll just go back up there and get it. I wonder if there's any items around here, actually. Nah, it doesn't matter. We've got plenty of items. Come on, we're near the end of the level as well. Let's not prolong it. Yeah, let's not make it longer. Alright. Okay, I'm up here now. Yeah, boys. Hello! Any 
and I screwed. <laughs> For God's sake! I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute moron. I'm a moron. Come here, jump. I'm going back to my. It, it's taking me back to my childhood now when I used to die all the time. <laughs> <laughs> We're never gonna get this done. Now we are. It's just patience. Actually, if you hold down the shift key and move her around, she moves so much slower than what she normally does. Okay, we're gonna jump to that, hit the switch, and then we're out. Okay. Go for it this time. I will. Unless something just comes out of nowhere and kills me. <laughs> also, that comes out and kills you again. Yes. It's not over yet. No, that was liquid. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, yeah, but in Metal Gear Solid 4 he actually says that when he's liquid. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Actually, you see those buildings in the background there? <laughs> Don't they look beautiful? Does that look like impossible to you? Am I the only one who thinks that? Actually, it looks a bit like Meryl with a grenade launcher. Yeah. I don't know, I think it's the black top and the orange hair just made me think of impossible or something. Like that. <laughs> You've been shot at! But it's not quite the same now, is it? Someday you will get a speeding ticket for that ton, Fabio. Hey, it's just a gut feeling that um, may be. You are wrong to look there. <laughs> is your belief so fragile? Relax. Breathe deep. The gut, Fabio, has no more direction than a simple through and out. When my father left when I was a boy, he confided to me that he was in light. There was something greater than impulse. He possessed the seraph. But he was just a disciple in this design. His death, plotting a path to be sought by the one, his son. You understand? Have faith, Fabio. Not God rod. We are searching the right place. I know it. I believe it, Marco. Good. Heroes, have you fixed that rail yet? See! come back to this later yeah but thanks everyone for like joining us on today's stream and we shall see you all next time yep see you later